you go to a beautiful part of northern France, all the trees, you know, nothing's more than a hundred years old, um, which is quite interesting when you think about through, you know, the, the oak tree that's 60 feet high isn't actually that old. Um, and you see the pictures of what it was like and where it is now, and you see rolling fields with woods and dotted around, you know, these amazing memorials to the fallen. And all of them are horrific. I mean, you know, the Menin Gate is um, a memorial that was built to put the names of people whose bodies weren't found. You know, and they got to 65,000, ran out of space and had to build another one. As a former army officer, you, um, I don't know, you, you get into the history of your battalion, you get into the history, of course, what your family did. And I'd always wanted to go to the battlefields of, sort of Northern France and Belgium. And um, for whatever reason, I always found a good reason to put it off. But on this occasion, it was sort of a chance I couldn't say no to, not least because it was about a Northampton story. You know, I think that whilst going there as a visitor is important. Having a personal sort of reason to go um, around Edgar Mobbs was the motivation I needed. I, I think his legacy began when he walked into that Saints stadium and said, I'm going to war. I'm going as a private soldier who's with me. Do you think about, you know, would I have had the backbone to do that, you know? I mean, and so whether he was to come back or not, his sort of legend began when he was able to take a group of people, motivate them to leave their families behind and fight for, for their king. And I think that, um, you know, that's, that in itself is a hell of an achievement. What he then went on to do as an individual, rise through the ranks, command the regiment, you know, get injured a few times, save lives, um, that, that is no surprise really as somebody who, you know, had the, the, the spine and the fortitude to do what he did in the very beginning. When, you, when you're a sports person and you look for motivation and you look for millimetres, not inches, you know, or yards, you're looking for those, that tiny bit of something that's gonna give you an edge on somebody. Understanding the history, what you represent, you know, there's a reason why the All Blacks are so good. Um, it's, not a, it's not about the team today. You know, the All Blacks don't, this is because of teams and players before them that have created a brand and a culture of winning um, and representing their country that is now reflected in the team today. If you have a culture where as Saints players, you are being pushed to live up to the past and the expectation of the future, then that game is as important as any game. And so for me, not only is it important for those players playing to do their best and to play at the highest of their ability, it's also important for the army because they're in the process to the build up of their tri, um, tri services tournament. But it's also an important moment for everybody in the area of Northamptonshire and Bedfordshire to reflect on the past and bring the past into the present and for a moment say, okay, this is what this individual did for the area and for the regiment. This is what happened in the, in the First World War and we'll reflect on that and we'll, we'll say thank you and enjoy it and now we'll push this forward into the current day.